NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft neared its target, Bennu, the asteroid grew in detail from a few tiny pixels to an incredibly high-resolution image. OSIRIS-REx confirmed the asteroid's basic shape, which was originally observed in 1999 by ground-based radar at Arecibo Observatory. What scientists didn't expect was just how rough and boulder-filled the asteroid would turn out to be. While it can be difficult to fully grasp Bennu's unfamiliar surface, it's helpful to understand the scale of what you're seeing here. In this image, the brightest boulder is the length of a horse, and the large boulder in this image is the width of a soccer field. Another challenge for the mission is the asteroid's small size and weak gravity. This means that OSIRIS-REx needs to fly daringly close to the surface in order to enter into orbit. With its orbital A phase, OSIRIS-REx successfully entered the closest ever orbit for a spacecraft, setting a Guinness World Record in the process. Then, six months later, it beat its own record during its orbital V phase and approached to within a few hundred meters of the rocky surface. Because OSIRIS-REx flew so closely over the surface during Orbital B, the team was able to map the topography and shape of Bennu better than we have our own moon. In addition to mapping asteroid Bennu, OSIRIS-REx plans to collect and return a sample back to Earth. To do that, the spacecraft will carefully tag the surface of Bennu. The OSIRIS-REx team has selected four possible sample sites for the mission. Osprey, Kingfisher, Nightingale, and Sandpiper. The spacecraft has been closely imaging these sites from different angles to select the best touchdown spot for OSIRIS-REx. What was originally envisioned as a smooth and easy touchdown on Bennu's surface has become a complex endeavor to tag a small, crowded space on the asteroid, an area no larger than a few parking spots, by mid-2020. The OSIRIS-REx team has already pushed the boundaries of scientific exploration, going from ground-based radar images all the way to being a few hundred meters from the asteroid surface and is now mere months away from a sample collection attempt.